My name is Chris Ting. I'm the owner of VMG Bikes and the designer of the VMG Typhoon. It felt incredible riding this bike for, for me personally the first time. It had been three years since I'd started this project, started looking at designing a bike, going through countless number of factories to find a factory that was the right one for us. And when this frame finally turned up and I put it together to ride, just an incredible feeling. The way it started was I started looking at every enduro mountain bike and every electric enduro mountain bike out there and looked at all the geometry, all the designs, tried to distill down to well, what were the things that were people were really liking about the design of a bike and what was the common trend and where were they going. So we wanted to build a bike that was future-proof and would be a, a modern enduro mountain bike. We wanted it to be playful, we wanted it to be stable and we wanted it to be powerful. I started bringing in uh, Greg from Canon Shockworks to get his view and get his uh, input on the design of the bike. One of the key advantages of the VMG is the ability to run an air or coil shock. So you can swap the air shock out for a coil and the VMG has the progression to prevent the harsh bottom out. I wanted to make sure that the bike was going to be future proof and aggressive and Greg challenging those numbers and having some insport did, did exactly that. We also brought in a kinematics expert. His name was Andre from Portugal. We had decided on the progression rate and the leverage ratio of our suspension to make sure that the kinematics and the pivot location of the suspension was going to make the bike perform exactly how we wanted. We wanted a 30% progression ratio to give us a really supple off the top feeling of the bike, but plenty of mid-track support and a, a bottomless feel which everyone really looks for. Everyone that jumps up on the bike gives us fantastic positive feedback. They're comfortable on it immediately. They tell us the bike is exactly how we intended it to be. It's stable, it's confidence inspiring, it's poppy and playful, and it's powerful. So we felt it was really important to make sure this bike was strong. Being a carbon frame, you want to have full confidence in your bike. So the frame was tested to ISO 4210 and is actually tested to 70 to 80% over requirements and passed with flying colors. So we worked really closely with Bafang on the M510 motor. We helped them tune the motor so that it felt and was as competitive as it could be with other, the other major brands on the market. Initially when we got the first samples, uh, it probably wasn't quite as refined as it needed to be. But we spent six months working with Bafang, having firmware go back and forth, providing feedback to Bafang. We've now actually got a motor that has been tested by other people as well and they're rating it as good uh, as anything else on the market. I think the best thing for me was the fact that I was extremely comfortable with the bike straight off the bat. But it was poppy, it, um, it handled really nicely and I could get around corners, get up the hills quickly, get down the hills a lot faster than I had any right to be doing. Just didn't throw any tricks, I mean now you span as it turned well at low speeds so yeah, I was able to put it where you wanted to put it. Obviously people are going to look around, people don't just jump into the first bike they see. Definitely recommend taking one of these for a spin. Try, ride it, take a demo. It's very important not to just judge something before you hop on it and ride it. And once you ride these things, yeah, you'll realise it does work as good as people tell you it does. We're the first and only Australian Enduro electric mountain bike. Australian owned and Australian designed, uh, which I think is a, is a first and we're very proud of that. While this bike was developed in Australia and we have a lot of Australian customers, we've also sold internationally. So we have many customers in the US, in the UK, in New Zealand, and uh, through other parts of Europe. It doesn't matter where you are, you're globally supported. So the real strength of this bike is that it enables anyone to feel extremely confident going downhill. It's very stable, but uh, the way this bike performs, the way the suspension is set up, uh, very confident inspiring for anyone that rides it. At the same time, with that mallet uh, configuration, it turns really well as well. Sounds uh, impossible to say, but it, it's really hitting on the mark for, I think, what a lot of people will look for in a bike. So that stability and playfulness, but climbing really well.